and the wine. So I, I fight for my joy, I fight for my sanity, I fight for my oil so it never runs dry. I take the, the things that come at me and hit me as God just crushing me some more to take all. Welcome to Christiana Flourishing where we motivate you with God word. Please, this video you're about to watch, I have no copyright over it. And this video is from Reverend Christie. I just find the video and I find it very interesting for married couple. Please take your time to watch it to the end. And remember to support this channel. God bless you. Mama knows my husband. Does he look like the kind of man that cry? Mm -mm. You know they cry. But that day he called me on the phone, he was crying. He said, Christy, what is wrong with my life? Why is my life so checkered money? I'm throwing it. He said, I just got a call just now from America. One 19 year old girl say I'm a father. Hey! Yes! Oh! Hey! Get out of way! Money, you say what? He said, Christy, I didn't know there was such a story, I could not prove it. Hmm. And this 19 year old American, black American Akata showed up with her mother in my house. Immediately I looked at the girl in my house and said, I want to do DNA. I said, Don't waste our money. Don't waste it. None of the girls looks like him as she does. I said, Oh God, feel it, feel it. But man, it was a terrible season in mm. our house. Now I understand when a man dies and some strange children show up and say they are the children and his wife will be dying. I understood that pain because this was a stranger but she was older than all the children. Mm. And my son said, Mommy, I am used to calling myself firstborn, first son. Who is this stranger that has bumped me off like this? Who is this? And my first daughter said, Mommy, I am first lady in my daddy's life. Who is this stranger? My second son lost it. He locked himself in his room three days. He refused to come out. Mm. I had to carry my pain and put on the shelf because my children were falling apart. Mm. Listen, Mama, it's not always that you allow your pain to speak because pain lies. Mm. Pain will lie to you. Pain will lead you down the right, wrong path. Mama said it's not wrong to be tired. It is dangerous to remain tired. It is not wrong to feel your pain, but never let your pain lead. Mm. I had to forget my pain because my children were having identity crisis suddenly. That boy locked himself for three days and refused to come. I had to start breaking down the door. I said, I'll break this door. Then he opened the door. I said, son, what is it? He said, mommy, three days ago I was third born. Now I'm fourth born. Mm. Somebody can just show up now. I will be number six. Clearly, I can't handle this. Mm. When my mother-in-law heard that I took that child, Mama called me. She had been in America. Her last daughter just had a baby. And she called me from America. Iye, Iye was a tough woman. She was tough on everybody. When I discovered that, I refused to make it personal. She shouts on her children, shouts on neighbors, shouts on everybody. Why do I want to make it personal? Hey, daughter-in-law, who am I? So I just decided to love that old woman unconditionally. She called me. She was crying on the phone. Mama doesn't cry. Mama called me. Hey, Kissy. That is the Benin version of Christy. Hey, Kissy. Mommy born your husband, but I no go fit do what you do. You collect another woman picking. Woman we won't start your marriage. She say, oh, your children no go cry. I need them cry before the tears reach ground. Somebody go collect them. I've never heard those type of prayers. Iye prayed and then Iye turned. Mama became my advocate in the family. Nobody can touch me in that family. Mama slapped one of my husband's brothers because he went to talk about me to her. She slapped him. Liar! Liar! That's how now they scatter people married. Bah! This is a man in his 50s. She slapped him. That thing he was reporting me for. I did it. <laughs> I said to her, I said, Mama, one day I go 
go keep us in you go say no be me she say oh i can see you no go fit keep us in you no get that kind mind hallelujah i can't tell you the blessings that came with obeying god but let me say this and i will be done two things i want to say nobody should hear me today if you have cheated on your spouse don't hear me today and go home and demand that your spouse does like i did everybody will hear god for themselves there are those that god will say get out of that place leave mm -hmm. and there are those who will say stay mm -hmm. please don't go and make it a law mm -hmm. and don't even develop any sense of entitlement but if you have been cheated upon, there is grace. God said to me, living is judgment and justice. He said, but let me show you a higher way. There's something higher than justice. I said, what is that? He said, it's forgiveness. He said, forgive him. Stay. I forgave and I stayed. But when my husband did not, he forgot the pain of what we went through. And I saw his eye looking again. I said, Oga, you see me? Don't you dare. He thought I was joking. I packed my things. I left. We got a call. Things. I left. I left, yo. Be looking at me, by. I left. You will not put me through this nonsense again. Who are you to continue sinning and allow me to continue suffering? Claudia, let me do my own. Can I find a boyfriend? <laughs> Can I find a bobo? That thing they call the girl side chick. Can I find a side cockerel? <laughs> what do they call them? <laughs> Please, God can heal adultery. It's possible. But there must be willingness on both parts, of both parties to bring what it takes to the table forgiveness on the wronged one and repentance on the sinner if the person is not repenting please leave mm. i'm not afraid to say it leave nobody was ordained to cause pain perpetually you can't do that you can't take advantage of the faith and the wine so I, I fight for my joy, I fight for my sanity, I fight for my oil. So